It's time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben. Now let's dive in. So we saw some major support levels crack on a lot of these cryptos. We're going to first take a look at Bitcoin. And you can see with the previous drawings, Bitcoin did crack below that strong support. But it has gotten bought up close to that $30,000 area like it did back here and is almost back above that support line. Now it is still extremely bearish on this daily chart. Looking at it on the four hour chart, it is trying to climb back up and kind of rebound back to this 50 day moving average where it's kind of been staying at for most of the time. But this is a lot of resistance to break through all these EMAs. So there's a very good possibility that Bitcoin could sell off here really soon, especially if it cracks these levels if buyers don't keep coming in above 30,000 to keep it up then the price will drop we're basically still in the waiting game and yesterday's dip on a lot of these tokens to me was buying opportunities i actually averaged down on some positions and got into some new positions including a little bit more ethereum i grabbed some more ethereum down here at this 2400 area because like I've been saying, I'm more bullish on Ethereum than I am Bitcoin. And taking a look there on the daily, you can see Ethereum, the drop it had was below the 100, but it's back above it. So still building higher lows. And there are buyers who do not want to let this get below that 100 day moving average. So this 2500 area is trying to hold up. It looks like it's going to be pretty strong support if it can. But same thing as Bitcoin. If these buyers give up that are sitting down here, then Ethereum could crash too. The difference is the actual daily charts though. Ethereum could easily turn back very bullish. The 20 day has just now crossed the 50 and it's more of a test at the moment because if the price pushes up anymore, the 20 will be right back above the 50. So we just kind of waiting things out to see if these rebounds are going to hold as rebounds or if this is the start of a drop. But some of these plays I still like, like I said, Ethereum. I also averaged down on Matic. I bought some Matic down here in this long candle here because Matic is still above all indicators except for the 20, but it bounced off of that 50 very nicely. So Matic is still pretty bullish and with a little bit more buying volume could get back into its bull run it's making. So of course I've been bullish on ADA and I bought some ADA up off of the 100 day here around that 140, averaging down that position some more. It's trying to hold right across here. You can see that line right there where candles have hit at multiple times and it's right below it. And the 50 day is also right at that same point. So all ADA has to do to get back bullish is just pop up about five, six cents. So this pullback to me was just a decent buying opportunity on ADA. Ethereum Classic, was, which is another one that I've been swinging and it's been going down. I did average down on it. It has cracked the trend line on the daily, so I'm a little concerned about that. But you can see all four indicators are still above each other the way they're supposed to be. And just like the other ones, it doesn't need much to get back on the trend line and get back on track. So a lot of the coins are going to look like this but some of them look like bitcoin where they look like they're going to need a lot more buying to come in to get them back on track versus ethereum and matic and ethereum classic to have way less price distance to get back on track so i picked up some lxm down there in this 31 33 area somewhere in there the reason why i did it even though it looks like it's going bearish on the daily chart here with the 20 crossing over the 50 and the 100 and pointing downward Every time back in this bull run that it came down, it bounced off of either the 100 or the 200. But when it came down to the 200, it only did that once through this whole move until here recently. And when it did, it immediately got bought off of it. So every time XLM looks like it's going to crash, it has a pop up. So I think short term, I can at least pull a little profit out of this seeing xlm push back maybe to this 45 cent area because these emas especially the 20 day is going to act like a rubber band or one of those paddle ball things where you got the ball on the end of it and you smack it and it comes back and hits the paddle 
That's kind of how these EMAs act. When the price gets way off of the EMA to the upside or the downside, eventually they usually get back close to those EMAs. So I think we went oversold on a lot of these crypto plays, sold off a little too fast. Even if we are entering a bear market, there's still going to be bounces at support areas. And you can see Dogecoin pulled back almost to the 100 every time that it's pulled back to the 100 back here. It's been bought off the 100 and pushed back up. So still below the indicators, but not very far from getting back above those indicators. And there's a strong support line that's kind of holding up as some resistance at the moment. But we'll see what happens tonight. See, We'll see if the crypto markets get a little bit hotter. That's kind of what I've, I'm looking for is some more buying to come in at these lower prices tonight and maybe in the morning and get us back on track for the bull run. If that doesn't come in, we probably will have some bigger pullbacks, but I think we're going to get some type of bounce off of this big pullback we had last night. So I did add to my scale position. It cracked below the trend line all the way down to 28.27, but it's pushed back right up on the trend line. So I'm just looking for that to hold still, and we are very close to scale having a breakout. As soon as it gets to the tip of this triangle, or maybe even a little bit before here, Tomorrow or the next day, we could see it start to break out to the upside. Looking at the overall chart, since last year in December, scale is still up overall. Now, TRB is another one to keep an eye on. It's pulled back, only brought it down below the trend line for a little bit, and then pushed it all the way back above the trend line. It is running into the 200 there, but it is overall bullish with this trend line still holding. And if it can hold like it did right here, we could see another push up, and that's that same push I'm talking about on a lot of these. But TRB is one of those ones that has a really has a pretty good chart pattern that is more likely to make a move up than some of the other ones. CGLD here that is getting pretty far below, and you even have the 20-day crossing over the 200. The overall market is still question marks. Now here's my prediction. Back in January, February, something like that, when GameStop got hot in the stock market, a bunch of retail traders left cryptos, and the cryptos dropped for a while while the GameStop hype was going on. As soon as the GameStop shenanigans started to end and people started losing their money on GameStop, they fled back into cryptos. I have put a video out on the Framework Fortune Home Channel calling this. You can go look at it and actually look at the date of when I called it. It was three days into the GameStop rip. I said, do not pay attention to GameStop because the mainstream media has picked it up and the mainstream media works for the government who puts their money in Wall Street to run their accounts for them. Joe Biden is not sitting at a computer trading his investments. He has people to do that for him. And those people more than likely are Wall Street professionals and hedge funds. So I think they're using these Wall Street bets, Reddit retail trader hype trains that are starting on A that started on AMC this week, and AMC has now popped up, started coming back down. They're trying to push another one, Clove, it's another stock. All these are garbage companies, so all of these pushes up are going to be short-term lived, especially when the institutions and hedge funds decide that they've had enough of the shenanigans. And the reason why I think those institutions and hedge funds are using these crazy meme stocks as a distraction is because they can't really manipulate the crypto market like they can the stock market. Most of the cryptocurrencies have fail-safes that if you buy too much of a coin, it will decentivize you for trying to attack the vector or system or whatever the technical terms is for it. But basically, one person cannot just buy everything up and manipulate the whole price of a currency without themselves paying somewhat of a price. It's not worth it to do that. So they can't manipulate it like the stock market. But they can distract people with the stock market while they continue to load up at lower prices. Because when you're moving millions or maybe billions of dollars into a new investment, you can't buy it all at once or it will shoot the price up crazy. So they have to buy small little positions and a lot of them have algorithms, trading bots that do this for them. So that's why you see in the stock market constant movements in stocks 
all times of the market open, even if there's no volume on it, because AI algorithms are trading small positions for these hedge funds. So, of course, this is pure speculation, but I'm going off of what the past experience was in recent months with the dynamic between the retail traders and Wall Street bets on the stock market and cryptos. And just based off of history usually repeats itself, I think we may see that again and we may see another big leg up on cryptos maybe starting this weekend. But it's hard to put an exact date on it because it depends on how long it takes the institutions and hedge funds to get tired of the game. So we'll see if my overall prediction is right again. I rarely put out predictions unless I'm pretty confident about them. And I'm pretty confident about this because like I said, I just saw the same type of thing kind of happen. Now the drops this time are a lot bigger than they were with a GameStop. So it is very possible I am wrong. But only time will tell. The last thing I want to mention before we go for the day is if you haven't heard the news, El Salvador is trying to make Bitcoin the currency of their country. This will be the first country to do it if they do it. But don't get caught up in the news headlines because nothing is official yet. Only the El Salvadorian president, I think he's the president, whatever their leader is, made the statement that that's what they were looking for. And I think it's Stripe payments that are down there uh, pushing for them to use Bitcoin as their main currency. If they go through with this, we could see other countries fall in line, especially these smaller countries. And in South America, there are a lot of countries who just went through some pretty socialistic type of administrations running their countries and had a lot of problems with corruption, Venezuela being one of them, and their money is now worthless. So a lot of those South American countries are really embracing free market principles now, and a lot of expats from America who patriots who moved out of America to other countries are starting to build communities in these places and help build them up. This could be a big thing, but it's nothing at the moment. It is only words out of the El Salvadorian president's mouth. Words mean nothing. Actions mean everything. So until I actually see some actions, I'm not going to pay too much attention to it. So if there's not any coins that I'm currently covering that you'd like me to cover on a daily basis, leave them in the comments below. The charting used in this video is TradingView. There is an affiliate link down in the description if you want to check it out. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.